guys, it's Katie, and first off, the glasses are making another appearance. I used to wear them a lot in videos, but I haven't recently because these are actually only really reading glasses, but I wear them a lot just for the effect because I love how they look. So I decided, why not wear them in a video today because I wear them all day at school. So today I'll be filming my October favorites video, and I have six products to show you guys that are all makeup or beauty related, and I might throw in some of my favorite songs at the moment at the end, who knows, might be spectacular today and feel like doing that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start out with a little duo that I've been loving this past month and just in general, which is this little, whoopsie, I like to think about makeup as like a product that like finds its match, and when you find its match, it's just like it's flawless and perfect, like if you find a match with like your foundation and your primer, it's like solid and awesome, so I found a match you know, so to speak, with a um, skin finish and a blush. And I love, love, love the MAC skin finishes. They are probably one of my favorite products that MAC offers. So if you guys are, you know, tight on money a little bit because, you know, as teenagers, it's typically how it is, then definitely if you're going to invest in anything for MAC, invest in a skin finish because you can use it for so many things. If you're so daring, you can even use this for eyeshadow. This is my favorite one, which is Soft and Gentle. I got mine off of the website probably like a month or two ago and I've been in love ever since. I might have even talked about this in my last favorites video, I actually don't really remember. I love the golden finish that this gives to my skin and gives me color because I can look really, really pale really, really easily. Like not even just pale, like pale can be really beautiful sometimes, but I'm just thinking like when I say pale, I mean like no color looks like a dead person pale. So this adds warmth than it adds life to my face. And I love using this with my MAC blush in Desert Rose, which I actually just recently purchased. So it's kind of, you know, a stretch for being in this favorites video, but this I've been loving and I just purchased this. These two products complement each other like seamlessly. They're amazing together. And this one, um, the Desert Rose blush, I was actually comparing it to some of the other blushes that I bought from MAC and just in general blushes, like even my drugstore blushes. And this is way, way different tone than I usually go. Because I usually go with cute little, you know, cheerful pink blushes like baby pinks and like hot pinks or, and, you know, things like that. But this is more like a... <sighs> like a berry color. This is like my match, I think. So if you guys have fair skin, definitely try out something like Desert Rose. It's beautiful. It's more dark than I usually go, but if you use a very light hand and the right brush, it'll look flawless. These are a little bit steep compared to drugstore things, but I promise you, if you invest in the right things from high-end companies, you're never going back to drugstore. Like, sometimes, obviously, we're going to make mistakes and buy things that aren't really worth the money, but when you find things that are worth it, it's just an awesome feeling. And secondly, I'm gonna talk about another little duo that I love together, which is my foundation primer and my foundation. And I've talked about my foundation in the past. This is my Artistry Hydrating Foundation. Um, I talked about how I thought that you had to twist it off when really you just pop it off. Uh, that was my mistake, guys. Thank you for correcting me. I use about one and a half to two on a bad day pumps of this foundation. And it goes on flawlessly. It's so light. It feels like I'm not wearing anything. I love my Laura Mercier to pieces, but that feels like I'm wearing a birthday cake on my face. Like, if you just smeared frosting on my face, that's how it kind of feels sometimes if I over apply. But, you know, it's really hard with creamy, like really thick foundations to apply the right amount for me in my case. But for this, I feel like I can even over apply and still be okay because it just literally soaks right into my skin. The moisture just like spreads and I don't get dry patches and it's just awesome. So I definitely recommend it. I'm in the shade Cameo 20. I was using an Urban Decay primer. It was purple and it looked like Urban Decay's like um, eye primer, but it was like huge. I've, I've showed it in videos in the past, but then I bought this and I was kind of just buying it just to try it out and I absolutely absolutely love this, like 10 times more than that one because of two things. One, it works great for people who have really dry skin like myself. Feels really nice on my skin and it smells good as I said in my haul video. Um, and also, I really love the fact that it keeps my foundation on all day, whereas my other primer would start to fade when I got home from school. But literally, like my skin, I didn't even do any touch-ups for this video and it looks awesome because of this primer. I definitely recommend it. Um, it does have a decent amount of products in here. You really only need like a little pea size and I rub it between my hands and I just kind of coat it all over the areas, uh, concentrating it more towards my cheeks because this is where I have most of my redness and my acne scarring that I need to cover. Um, but I absolutely love this. You guys can get it on All Cosmetics Wholesale, as I said in my last haul video, and you can probably also get it from Sephora. Who knows, it was not that incredibly expensive and you do get a pretty decent amount of products in here. And these, I love together. I recommend it completely if you have dry skin or I don't really even know. You guys can try this with oily skin and tell me how it goes, but um, this is my dry skin 
routine, I guess. Next, I'm gonna talk about a lip product because you guys know I love my lip products. I guess I'm in like a, a phase. Like if you guys watched my videos like a year ago and do you like watched one from a year ago and then one from now. I am a completely different person makeup wise. I used to obsess over like eyeshadow combinations, but I hardly wear any eyeshadow. I'm not even wearing any eyeliner at all today because I thought the glasses were like, you know, bold enough that I don't really need very much on the eye. So I literally only have one eyeshadow on and a little bit of mascara. So, um, I dolled up my lips today. I actually wore this this morning to school. Yep, I did it. I branched out and I went to school with this on. It did fade though real fast um, because it wasn't reapplying every couple of hours because I was in school. Um, but it faded to a really nice color. Like, it, it faded really nicely. But I'm actually wearing my favorite, which is uh, Revlon Just Bitten Kissable in Smitten. And I heard about this from Essie Button. I talked about that a couple of videos, actually a lot of videos ago, um, my obsession with Essie Button. I love it. Um, I actually have another one, but I could not find it for this video. I could not, I don't know really where it is. I think it's in my bag because I wore it to um, some shindig I went to. So yeah, but I love, love, love this. It looks like a marker or like kind of like a crayon, but it glides on so flawlessly, so amazingly. I love it. I love the color. I feel like a Barbie doll right now. I got mine from Target, but I'm sure it's available at other places as well. So lastly is a hair product that I have been loving. Before I get started talking about this, I want to say that I do not use this every day because I have very weird hair scalp issues. I don't really know if it's an issue, but I get really, really greasy when I use fragrance shampoos or like shampoos with fragrances like this because this is a coconut shampoo. Um, I usually use just like a, not like, I wouldn't say it's unscented. It definitely has a smell to it because when I go to school with wet hair, it smells really good and everyone compliments me on how great it smells. Um, but I use a just normal shampoo. I use a uh, crap, what do I use? Tresemme? No, nope, no, nope, Pantene. Pantene? Dry to moisture or something like that. It's the blue one. But I also like to incorporate fun ones like this into my routine. And I usually use this maybe once, maybe twice on a good week. It's the Tropical Coconut Infused with Coconut Extract and Vitamin E Shampoo. It's hypoallergenic. This is the family size. In my shower, we also have the conditioner because my sister who does not have build-up issues. Um, <laughs> I hate using that word, but it, it just flows. Um, she has the shampoo and the conditioner, and she uses both of them, but I only experiment with the shampoo sometimes because my conditioner is a keratin-infused conditioner, and it makes my hair dry straighter because I don't have time to straighten my hair in the morning. This is only a couple bucks from the drugstore. I only really buy drugstore shampoos because I'm kind of like a plain Jane, I guess. Uh, so I definitely love this. Definitely check it out. So that's all I wanted to talk about, uh, makeup and everything else, you know, beauty-wise. But I do want to talk about two of my favorite albums of the moment, which are completely different in taste. I have a very widespread music taste. I don't like all alternative or all pop or all country. I like just a little bit of everything. So that's why I tend to mention a lot of different artists in my videos. My, my taste like fluctuates all the time. Right now I'm in a real big country mood and Mumford and Sons mood. I've been loving Babel or Babel. I think it's Babel. I got I'm so bad at pronouncing things. I have this like way of pronouncing it in my head, but then when I say it, it just doesn't sound right. I love Mumford and Sons. They're amazing. I love all of the like cliche, not really cliche, but just like the well-known ones. And then I also love some of the more spookier ones on the album, which are awesome. So definitely check it out if you have more of like an alternative taste and you don't mind it sounding like someone's yelling into your ear when you're listening to music. It's not like screamo, but it's very passionate, I'd say, like Mumford and Sons when they sing, they have passion in their songs. I also really love Taylor Swift's Red album. I, I have to say it. I have to be cliche and say it. I don't know why I love it. Kind of wish I didn't love it so much just because it's really poppy, like pop music. There's like no country left. She like squeezed all the country out. She straightened all the country out of herself. Like she straightened her hair so she straightened all the country out. I love Taylor Swift. She's an amazing girl. She has awesome taste and I love her songs. Just, I mean, I love her songs for the the meaning behind it, not so much like the pop and the tempos, because they're a little bit too like you know bubbly for my taste sometimes. Um, but I really love just the messages she shows because I feel like she's reading my diary, even though I don't have a diary. She reads my mind pretty much, like all of my experiences, all of the things I've experienced. She seems to write a song about every single one of them, which is slightly weird. That's my video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my favorites for this past month. Make sure you guys enter my giveaway if you guys haven't. I will put it somewhere in the description box. Thanks so much for watching and supporting my channel. I love you guys all so much and I'll talk to you guys later.